How may I serve? We must bring them to the Overseers at once. Come with us, stranger. The reports from our squires were unmistakable. The Moor shuddered for a moment, as if reacting to some change. An ill omen to be certain. What can it mean? Overseers, this stranger appeared at the city's edge. I believe them to be a living mortal. Another unexpected development. We shall see to their reception. The Arbiter sees all things. Every soul has its place. Fate guides your hand. Every attendant in Oribos is taught that the Maw is unbreachable. That the malevolent souls within were sealed away for all eternity. This mortal's escape might mean the prison is weakening. If true, the banished one could... Cardelen! Karsher! Purpose be praised! At long last, the Arbiter has stirred. Wondrous news, honored voice. Mere moments ago, there was a disturbance at the boundary of the moor. Then this mortal appeared, claiming to have broken free of it. A living mortal? Surely their presence here serves the purpose. If the Arbiter reacted to their arrival, perhaps they are the key to waking her. Is this mortal worthy of such an audience? They may prove to be an agent of the Jailer. It is the Arbiter's place to judge souls, Kasher, not ours. I will bring this mortal before her. With her voice have I spoken. Blessed be her voice. Trust Blessed in her purpose. Be her voice. I will consider your words. All will be judged fair. I pray the Arbiter will awaken in your presence, mortal. What might your purpose be? She is unchanged, ever silent, ever still. When you arrived in Oribos, I saw the Arbiter stir for the first time in many cycles. It gave me hope that she would awaken and resume her blessed purpose. Mere words cannot describe the glory that was. Step forward, that I may show you. For uncounted eons, the Shadowlands was in perfect order. Infinite afterlives with Oribos, the Eternal City, as the Shining Heart. Every mortal soul came before the Arbiter, and she, ever wise, experienced all that had shaped a soul in life. With this knowledge, she consigned every soul to the afterlife it justly deserved. 
until... So it is that every soul, kind and cruel alike, is denied its rightful afterlife, and instead is damned to the inescapable torment of the Maw. Now souls rich with anima travel only to the Maw. We have tried everything to stop it. To awaken our blessed Arbiter. To no avail. Without Anima, drought has gripped the Shadowlands. The afterlives have grown isolated. Fear and uncertainty haunt us all. With countless souls feeding the Jailer, I fear he may grow strong enough to break free from the Maw. It is said he is filled with hatred for the Arbiter. If he strikes her down, it would bring the end of everything the First Ones made. Return to the lower levels, the Overseers will prepare you for what is to come. Speak, mortal. How may I aid you, mortal? Blessed be her voice. What have you done, mortal? Be at ease. I am Bolvar Fordrak. These knights and I are here to help. The touch of the Maw is upon their souls as well. But if they find a way to break free of its influence, perhaps they can end us. as best I can. What? You seek to Ashes open a doorway Ashes. back to the realm of the living? Oh dear. Oribus is crowded enough with so many brokers arriving every day. Now, now, Karshare, be hospitable. Mortal, I suggest establishing your portals where you first arrived just outside the city. Our master's will be done! I have opened countless portals in my lifetime, but never one that connected two planes of reality. I thought death was the end of existence. Here, it seems, death is a power that offers new beginnings. Corridors tidy. 
Oribos welcomes you. I have been instructed to assist you. Hear the words of the Arbiter. You have my undivided attention. Come back if you need. How may I assist? Fortune and wealth to you. It would be my pleasure to help you. I live to serve more walker. Everything is negotiable until our next transaction. How may I serve? May you find your fate. You honor me with your attention. It is clear you deserve only the best. You are welcome here. Tell me what you need, my friend. Please, do see me again. I will enforce <laughs> The purpose brought you to when she sundered the helm. The sky above the citadel shattered. The spire of an immense tower appeared beyond the veil. 
If the mole's influence bleeds into your realm, the balance between life and death will be broken. All you hold dear will be consumed in darkness. Tell me, how did these allies from your world become trapped in the Maw? Sylvanas Windrunner sent her agents to abduct them. Dark, winged beings who caught them in chains and dragged them through the shattered sky. The winged Kyrian of Bastion ferries souls from the mortal realm into the Shadowlands. But not with chains. And they are noble, untainted by the Maw. True. But it would seem this is the only clue our mortal friend has to follow. It falls to us to open the way for them. Overseer Karsher. Take this mortal to the Ring of Transference. Use our anima reserves to open a pathway to Bastion. But, honored voice, we have so little anima in our reserves. Surely we should be more... See it done, Kasher. With her voice have I spoken. The purpose must be followed. Come, mortal. I will show you the way. Here, mortal, this teleporter will convey you to the Ring of Transference. What do you seek, mortal? We have precious little anima to spare. But the Honored Voice has blessed your mission, so we will use what we have. We will call down one of the Soul Conduits for use as a gateway to Bastion. These paths have been dormant for some time. Your arrival will be unexpected. Watches over all. The Arbiter sees all truths. 